Hi, this is Maria Palladola with MyGolfInstructor.com, and I'm out here today on the Lesson T with Paul. And Paul, you can see we have a before and after shot of your setup here. So one thing uh, we were working on was trying to get a little bit of a stronger grip, help prevent a fade or a slice on your ball. We talked about also positioning your hands in a stronger position here at the inside of your left thigh as opposed to here in a weaker position, more at the middle of your stance. Next we talked about your shoulders. You can see in the original photo here how your shoulders were much more level and even a little bit open, aimed left of your feet at a dress. So we had you tuck this right shoulder back, dip the right shoulder down a little bit, and you can see how you've got more of an angle there to your shoulders where the right shoulder is sitting lower than your left in the setup on the left. So we definitely like this starting position on the left. Um, initially here, you had a lot of movement, a uh, sizable slide, a lot of head movement off the ball, and pretty much an overturn, turning your shoulders a little bit too much there and getting your arms trapped behind your body. So really difficult place to recover from. You're going to see on the new swing here, we still have a little bit more of a sway than we want. Not so much early in the backswing, though. As you can see, you, you stay pretty steady here in the takeaway. Then as you get to the top, you move off of that line a little bit. But you can see how you complete your swing with less shoulder turn. So you're in a little bit more of a controllable position at the top of the swing, and you have not overturned. So we're, we're getting there. We're working on it. We still want to tighten up the backswing here on the photo on the left, but definitely a huge improvement in a short amount of time. So we're looking at a more powerful setup and a tighter coil in your golf swing, uh, definitely for more stability and consistency. Great job today.